if you're like me, you're going to be taking off a few days. I'm already thinking of ways. Okay. So how am I going to be sharing content? How am I going to make sure that my brand is consistent, that my presence is consistent over the next couple of weeks? And I'm sure many of you are thinking the same thing. Before I proceed, if you like this video, please like. If you enjoy this, feel free to follow, to subscribe, do all the things. All right. So the first way that you can be proactive in your content strategy over the next couple of weeks is to batch your content. Now I've, I've mentioned this before as a tip. I like to do it. A lot of my clients like to do it. A lot of social media experts do this as well as you batch content. So that basically means that you create multiple content pieces at once. And it also allows you to maximize your time because, you know, you let's say you set aside an hour or two hours, say today or tomorrow to create content for the next couple of weeks. If you're going to be creating things on, let's say Canva, you can search at once for multiple different templates for different, um, different backgrounds, and then just create a bunch of, uh, of content pieces at once. So um, same goes if you're creating video. So you can be creating multiple videos at once. So batching content, tip number one, batch, batch, batch. Okay, the second thing is to schedule your content. So I'm typically not in favor, not a proponent of scheduling your content because I find that when you're scheduling content, you're not present when you're posting. And I find that there's there seems to be a disconnect in engagement. So the only caveat to that is if you schedule your content in advance and you are engaging on social media before, during, and after you post, but that still takes some level of, of consciousness and awareness so that you can just have that engagement level. So again, typically I'm not in favor of pre-scheduling content, but in this particular case, if it's just going to be a short period of time, let's say a few days or a week, then absolutely schedule your content, you know, set it and forget it during the holidays. And that way you always make sure that your content is out. Um, so some ways, some of the different platforms have their own schedulers like Facebook, or you can use other tools, other scheduling tools and apps that allow you to schedule. Funny, I just, I was on Canva the other day and had just realized that Canva, probably it's the pro version, allows you to schedule your posts now. So that's another thing. Um, I probably won't be using that, but it's nice to know that that is available. Okay, so tip number two is to schedule your content. And then the third tip, or the third way that you can maintain that cohesion, that consistency with your content during the holidays is to do lives. So the beautiful thing about doing a live is that you don't have to edit it. You can just do it. People know when you do a live, you come as you are, right? There, you can goof. You can, you know, you can mess up. You could take a little longer or a little less time than you normally would to do a video. It's all good because it's live and people just expect that it's not going to be perfect. It's just going to be as it is. So you can schedule lives on, uh, you could do Facebook lives, you can do Instagram live, you can do in, uh, LinkedIn, you can do TikTok. Uh, did I say YouTube? YouTube. <laughs> you can do all the different platforms. Uh, you can do a, a live on every single platform. And what I do, I actually have a, uh, a platform. I'm on a platform called StreamYard. I am streaming through StreamYard so that I can stream on multiple platforms at once. So that's an advantage of having StreamYard. Okay, let's see. Anything else about lives? Yeah, I just, I, I'm a big fan of lives. It allows you, you know, like, let's say if you only want to do one content piece, do a live. Two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Share your content. Maybe it's something for the holidays, whatever it is. Do a live and it gets out your content piece for the week. Or if you have multiple pieces, then it's one of the content pieces that you can have. Uh, so, all right, that's that. And then the fourth thing that I recommend for um, just making sure that you have consistency and cohesion in your content during the holidays oh. is to make a post 
and you can schedule this or you can send this in advance, make a post that talks about if you're actually going to be taking some time off. Make a post that is managing expectations, okay? So managing expectations could be whatever it is for you and your business. If your hours, if you have holiday hours or your hours are reduced, make a post sharing what your new holiday hours are. If you're going to be off completely for a few days, and by the way, this is not only for service providers, this is for any business. Create a post that gives holiday hours, holiday expectations. So that, yeah, it's a way to manage the expectations of your audience and of your clients. Um, so you can you can tell them what your holiday hours are going to be. If you're going to be taking some time off, you can say, hey, I'm going to be I'm going to be offline for the next five days or the next week. I'm going to be on vacation. I'm going to be taking some, you know, doing a digital detox. I'm going to be resting, recharging, whatever it is. You can say that like that being transparent like that is awesome versus just going off the grid altogether and not saying anything. And then, you know, if your clients need you or if your audience has come to expect a certain cadence of content and they don't see it, then that is can make your make your brand not look so good, right? It doesn't look as professional. But if you tell them you're going to be off for a week and you're going to be doing a digital detox, then at least you manage that expectation. So that those are the four tips. So number one, just to recap, is to batch your content. Number two is to schedule your content in advance when appropriate, when warranted. The third thing is to do lives so that you don't have to edit your content. Just be as you are and it can be perfectly imperfect or imperfectly perfect. <laughs> and number four is to make a post to, to manage the expectations, especially if you've got holiday hours, if you're taking some time off. So is there anything else that you would do or that you are doing now during the holidays to make sure that you're consistently uh, posting content? I'd love to hear in the comments. And again, if you like this, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please hit the like button. If you, uh, if you aren't already following me or subscribing, I would love for you to be part of my community. That is a, an amazingly supportive community that want to step out into the world, share their mission, their passion with the world, and really help make an impact on the planet. And you can also hit the little bell so that you're notified when I am going to post anything next. All right, guys. So enjoy the rest of your week. Happy holidays if I don't talk to you before then. And again, leave a comment below. Let me know if you like this, what you like, what tip you like to do, maybe one of the four that you uh, like to do or you are doing, or if you have another suggestion for us to learn and grow together. All right, everyone. Enjoy and we'll talk soon. Bye. For more help growing your visibility and monetizing your brand, go to alexanderfigueredo.com. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thank you!